For our Hong Kong seam finish that we're going to put on a plain half of an inch seam, we need some bias strips. And a bias, hopefully you remember, is at a 45 degree angle to the straight and cross grains. And so these mats have a 45 degree line going right there. Um, so I would you know, want to cut from there to there in a straight line to get the bias. The other thing you can do when you have torn edges to find the bias is bring one you know, straight grain over to cross grain like so, and there you go again. You've got that 45 degree angle. So we just need two strips that are at least eight inches long cut on the bias, and they both need to be about an inch and a quarter wide is, is sufficient. We're going to end up trimming off some of it, but we don't want to be too narrow. So I'm just going to do this method of cutting. The Hong Kong finish kind of ends up looking like a seam binding or an edge binding on the finish. And we're going to start off with right sides together, so I haven't even sewn my seam closed yet. Um, I'm going to align the edges of the binding and the seam allowance of my fabric. and our Instructions say that we're doing a quarter of an inch binding. So I'm sewing these guys together at a quarter of an inch seam, which is this first edge right here. It's also quite often with the edge of the presser foot. So there we are, just a quarter of an inch. And now we're going to press and press, and then we'll stitch again. Set the stitches, press the binding away from the sample piece. This next press is important because I want this to still only show a quarter of an inch. So I'm wrapping snugly right against that edge. I don't want any air between the edges here and my fold. I also don't want to fold over too much, so just fold just the right amount. You can look at it from the other side too, perhaps. Maintaining that quarter of an inch width. and stitch again. I'm going to do a stitch right to the inside of my binding. So it's an edge stitch. 
So I'm lining it up so that this seam of the two is kind of flowing just against the inside of that part of my presser foot. Still back stitch. There we go. Now what we need to do is trim fairly close to that stitch line. Make sure your cut line is nice and smooth and even, not jagged. And once we do that to the other one, we put them together. Now we're ready to join these guys. So we're just still aligning the edges. And we'll sew at a half of an inch. We'll go press it open. Hong Kong finish, half inch seam allowances. 